Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be running through gene regulation with specific reference to the lac operon. So gene regulation essentially is switching on and off of genes within a cell. So this enables cells to be able to control what products they make. So if certain products don't need to be made at a certain time, then those genes can be switched off. And if other products are needed within certain cells, then those genes can be switched on. Now the example of this that you guys need to know for 3, 4 bio is the lac operon. The lac operon is actually a series of genes within the bacteria E. coli that share the same promoter. Now these genes encode instructions for the production of the enzymes that are used to break down lactose so that the E. coli can utilize it for energy. So this means that when there isn't much lactose around, the E. coli does not want to be producing mRNA of these genes because it doesn't need the enzymes to be translated. So this means that when there isn't much lactose, a repressor protein, so this is a type of DNA binding protein, sits on a specific region of the lac operon called the operator region. When this repressor is bound to the operator, it prevents RNA polymerase, the enzyme responsible for transcription, from binding to the promoter and thereby prevents the genes being transcribed. Alternatively, when there is lots of lactose present and the E. coli could use this as a fuel, we need those genes to be transcribed so that we can end up with the enzymes that are needed. Therefore, in this instance, the lactose, which is entering the cell, actually comes down and binds to that repressor protein that is bound to the operator. Now this binding of the lactose to the repressor changes the conformation of that repressor, which means that it can no longer bind to the operator, so it will come up off of the operator. This has now left the promoter region free for RNA polymerase to bind and it can successfully transcribe those lac genes and therefore the enzymes that are needed for breaking down the lactose and utilizing it will be translated and used by the E. coli. So thanks for watching, that's all for today.